Hey everyone, so today we are going to learn about a syndrome called Gardner syndrome and it actually comes under the umbrella term of FAP or familial adenomatous polyposis which are a group of conditions which all involve polyps in the colon which can further lead to colon cancer. So let's first talk about the inheritance of Gardner syndrome. So it is an autosomally dominant autosomal dominant inherent condition and so by this you would know that if the dad has it or the mom has it the chances that the kid will have it are very very high okay so that makes this high risk condition because the transmission is dominant in that is that clear now, where is this gene present? The gene involved in familial adenomatous polyposis is uh, known as the APC gene or the adenomatous polyposis coli gene and it is present on chromosome number five. So now let's go to the presentation of the patient. So the patient will come to you with uh, many skull and long bone osteomas, like we can see in this picture here. You can see all these lesions on the skull and similar lesions will be found on the long bones too. They are osteomas. Also in the sinuses, Second, the patient will have many epidermal inclusion cysts, which often look like sebaceous cysts. You can see the cyst here, or a lipoma, or a fibroma. So these are the three types of skin lesions found in Gardner syndrome. Then, if you look at the patient's retina, you will find that there will be a darkly pigmented spot mostly near the fundus and this is known as congenital hypertrophy of the retinal pigment epithelium this is the acronym for that so basically what you'll see is that this fundus will be darkly pigmented and this will be present by birth then if you look at the teeth of this patient you will find that this guy or girl will have extra teeth and this is known as super numerary teeth numerary teeth or hyperdontia so when a guy or a girl comes to you with all these features and also complains of bloody diarrhea and cramps in the stomach okay you should do a colonoscopy and if you see structures like these okay these are polyps multiple polyps and you see that the patient has a family history of colon cancer if they tell you that you know my dad passed away at a young age let's say in his early 40s or my uncle uh, passed away or my aunt passed away then you have to assume that this person has Gardner syndrome and then you can do a genetic study to confirm that as I told you adenomatous polyposis coli gene on chromosome number five check that and you have to be very careful with this person because the chances that this guy or girl will get uh, colon cancer is very very high so uh, how do we treat this condition treating this condition is uh, totally based on colonoscopy known as surveillance colonoscopy okay the rest of the treatment like healthy diet and NSAIDs 
and uh, annual physical exams they just help to maintain good uh, colon health but the main treatment in this condition is uh, surveillance colonoscopy you have to keep checking when the colon is going to turn rogue and if there are more than 20 polyps at some point you perform a colectomy you remove that part of the colon life is more important than having a little extra colon and other family members who have not yet develop these symptoms like if a man in his 40s comes to you start screening the siblings and the kids and yes i'm serious by kids i mean colonoscopy should start as early as 10 years old okay to prevent colon cancer to prevent death and it has to be repeated every one to two years. So uh, that's all about Gardner syndrome. I'll do a quick recap. Gardner syndrome comes under the umbrella. Let's change color. Oh uh, no, maybe this. Comes under the umbrella term of familial adenomatous polyposis. It's an autosomal dominant condition, and so there's a high risk that it will be transmitted from parent to child. Person will come with many benign bone tumors called osteomas. Other than that, they will have this highly pigmented spot in the retina called congenital hypertrophy of retinal pigment epithelium. Okay, and on their skin, you will see epidermal cysts. They may be like sebaceous cysts. Then they'll have these fatty lipomas and fibromas. They will have extra teeth. You can see the normal dental formula says you're supposed to have 32 teeth, but they'll have more teeth called supernumerary teeth or hyperdontia. If you conduct a colonoscopy, you'll see structures called polyps there. And it is associated with the APC gene present on chromosome number five. The person usually recognizes that they have a problem when they start getting bloody diarrhea, cramps, and then they come to you and they say that, yes, we have a family history of colon cancer. Then what do you do? You ask them to do blah, 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 healthy diet, and NSAIDs, annual physical exam. But the most important is surveillance colonoscopy. If there are too many polyps, you remove the colon, okay? You do a surgery called colectomy. Now, for the family members, it's important to do screening, even in kids as early as 10 years old. And you have to repeat it every one to two years to make sure that nobody 